In the 2022 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select Sauce Gardner, defensive back, Cincinnati. Sauce Gardner, cornerback, Cincinnati. Bryce back to throw. The protection is good. His throw over the middle, deflected and intercepted at the 40-yard line. Batted right into the hands of Sauce Gardner. Gardner has the confidence to match his nickname, declaring himself the best player in this draft. He also has the game to match six interceptions over the last two seasons. This past fall, he allowed an FBS low 26.1 QB rating. Gardner is a physical corner who can ruin routes at the lot. He must cut down on penalties in the NFL. Well, there you have it. Sauce Gardner is the pick. Smoke screens for Quano. All that talk was that we were going to hear. If he's there, that's Joe Douglas' guy. Jets go defense, impact, player BT, love Sauce it. Gardner. I, I love it. And, you know, listen, I, everybody knows this. It's a Jeff fan, but you have Carl Lawson coming out next year as well. Yep. So you got Carl Lawson who's going to make Quinn and Williams better. You know, Bryce Hall now slides over to the second best receiver. It's a young quarterback room. It's it's. Listen, it, it, it's just getting faster. It's getting more aggressive. This guy's bringing swag. What was the, what was the stats? Uh, were there like a thousand passes thrown his way? Gave up. He never yeah, he allowed gave up a nothing. touchdown. No, I know he never gave up a touchdown, but I think he only gave up thirteen receptions. Yeah, that's crazy. You played college football. Think yeah, about like that. Like that's actually wild when you think about this guy talking about like lockdown corners. Uh -huh. He locked everyone down. Yep. And if yep. he can bring that to the NFL, and the Jets have that, it's Sauce Gardner Island. Yeah, yeah. Sauce yeah. Island. <laughs> I'll take any variation of that. Kim, I have and, a question for you. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead, please. Well, Brandon, this is a bit of a departure, though, from a Robert Sala mm -hmm. and Jeff Ulbrich defense, as far as we know, because they're not going – you're not going to draft this kid fourth overall and play zone. Zone. You True. are going to say to him, take away half the field, young man. Mm -hmm. we, you know, depending who's on the other side, we might have a safety back. But he is going to be expected to erase. Yep. And then they can play some games on the other side that maybe help to confuse some quarterbacks, something they were not capable of doing last they year. They didn't have the personnel last right. year. It was a tough watch. They tried. They fought. They scrapped. They schemed. They just they didn't have any explosive transcendent talent. You know, and, and funny, too, because you look at what Salah did with the Niners and their drafting philosophy. Yep. It, was, it was always defensive linemen. So the, the, sort of the conversation in the war room, I would imagine Salah wanted one of those big boys up front. Solomon Thomas, not that he worked yep. out there, but he went second overall right. back in the day. Armstead, Bruckner. Like, that's how they did it in San Francisco. It's an interesting change for the Jets, and I love it. I, I love absolutely it love this pick. I love it, too. I feel like it is the Jets acknowledging our defense truly was broken, yeah. and rather than just throwing more money or the same kind of idea at the situation, we are now seeing Robert Sala change course. Yep. I respect that a lot. And Not everyone great, would do that. And think about this. Don't the great ones really do that? Pat Riley, I mean, it might be an odd example, but Pat Riley, when he was coaching the Lakers, it was a race to 130, up and down, worthy magic, etc. When he came to the Knicks, it was a race to 80 changed radically with Miami yeah. it was kind of a hybrid the well, that's Eddie's Pat Riley no, no, that's not the nuts but the good ones adapt it bottom like line's doing it bottom line to me I'm just happy that they took impact defensive players yes. that's what I would want whether it was edge whether it's corner I'm fine with that I would have been bothered if they took a Quanu well, especially after all the rumors now we have the Giants so we're looking forward to that. We'll make sure we get to that pick. So we'll keep it here with you guys. Oh, wait, then we'll take a break. We're holding Keith hostage. The Giants now have the pick of the O-line. Yes, they do. So they could get their guy, Neil, which That's would be I mean, my... Though. They now have their pick of the O-line. Mm -hmm. I like it personally, Kim, because we talked about it earlier, where he's the guy who's played on the right side before. I'm not looking to move Thomas, where he finally had some success on the left side. So we'll see what the Giants do here. But Jets' first pick, Ahmed Gardner, Sauce Gardner, the cornerback. Impact defensive player, uh, and now we wait and see what happens here with the Giants. Keith, I know you're supposed to go at 8.30, but we're holding you a little overtime today. Do you mind? I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. All right. I'm, yeah, I'm going to watch the first <laughs> round here. All right. So keep, well, assuming that they put the TVs on. Otherwise, you're watching <laughs> we have, we have Flames one, Wild. We have one TV on the draft. I, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Now the TV. Let's go. The pick is the, the pick is in. Oh, the Giants are ready. The Somebody call it. Somebody call the, it. The Who pick. is it? Neil. Neil, definitely. Yeah, Neil. I would. I mean, look, it's going to be old lineman. Because of this familiarity with the right side, me personally, I go Neil. I think the Giants do that. Kim, your thoughts? I think it's Oquano. Oh, I like Ooh. it. I like it. Uh, we will get you live to Goodell as soon as he hits the podium here and then react to that. BT, you didn't get the Jeff fans to do a little fireman Ed stuff. I mean, come on. Yeah, we, Where are uh, the Jeff fans at? You Where guys want to do a little chant? You guys ready? E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. 
I'm not there even it is. And I had that to get was half hearted. Yeah, better. that's what I'm saying, Sal. Like, it almost seems. It almost, that was a sick. Well, you got to do it. Well, You're the Jets I mean, guy. You, know, you almost look I've... like Fireman Ed a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we both do, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Way. It, right? Any bald guy, you always look alike. Yeah. Hey, BT, what's up? No, it's Sal, actually. <laughs> I got that before. Yeah, I swear to as soon as I walked in, I swear to God. <laughs> I've gotten Carton before. Oh, Craig, what are you get doing? Get some Craig no. Cartons as well. <laughs> I got a question for you guys. The, the, the likelihood, I mean, I don't know how the Giants don't trade out. Given their finances, given other things they could do. Of the second of pick? Of the seventh yeah. pick. They've got to trade out, right, Kim or King? What do you guys think? I don't know. I mean. Really? It, it, well, let's see what, if they take Neil here. I, Giants and then draft. who comes off the board. Right. Because they might have their eye on somebody else. Their draft room doesn't True. seem as excited about the Jets, am I right? <laughs> They're sitting around just like, oh, here we go. Another pick, another year. <laughs> the body, <laughs> based on the body. I love the Gardner look pick. fantastic, I, I love the Sauce Gardner pick. That's He's a big kid. Yeah, like, yes. a big when you kid. have him in press man Ford, coverage. Yep. He's going to be able to stop Waddle and right, Tyreek from getting off the line. Goodell walking to the podium. Uh, let's go to the feed. Here we go. Oh boy. For the New York Giants pick, I'm joined by Sam Prince, a lifelong Giants fan and Make-A-Wish kid. <laughs> Sam is post-heart transplant and feeling stronger than ever, as you can see. <laughs> Tonight, his wish to announce the Giants' first pick comes true. We hope this wish will be a turning point for Sam as he looks forward to being a sports broadcaster in the future. Okay, Sam, it's time to get your wish true, baby. Thank you, Mr. Goodell. With the fifth pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the New York Football Giants select Kayvon Thibodeau, defensive end, Oregon! Kayvon Thibodeau, defensive end, Oregon. Back to throw again, DTR, pressure down, Thibodeau! Why you would ever even consider going one-on-one -on -one with Thibodeau? The former consensus number one high school recruit did not disappoint in Eugene. Thibodeau finished his three-year career with seven sacks in the fall. He was first-team All-America and a finalist for the Bednarik and Nagurski Awards. He's an explosive athlete, stronger than you think, and fast enough in pursuit. Thibodeau needs polish as a pass rusher, but already has a great closing burst on quarterbacks. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I'm stunned. You know what? I love it, though, because all the talk about offensive line, offensive line, they need, know, offensive, they need offensive line. They stuck to the player they believed was uh, best for them. Impact player, Kayvon Thibodeau, the dreams of maybe the Jets getting him a 10. Done. Giants get an edge rusher. Kim, you don't love it? You better fix the offensive line. Well, yep. I mean, they could do it next. Two picks. Yeah. What I'm looking at is, okay, they take the third edge rush, rusher off the board. Yeah. Kind of makes sense, right? No O-linemen have been taken yet. Right. So now we're, right. we're so thinking... Now at, at at ten, seven, at seven, you can take. That's, you can still get yeah, the top five. Even if Neil take gets taken lineman, next, right. you they can prevent. Take, right. Well, Carolina might take quarterback here. I mean, I wouldn't touch Kenny they Pickett anyway. I definitely would not. not do it. I would love for them to take Kenny. They can't take him here. Come on. I mean, Matt Rule's hanging by a thread. He's going to be He's take better than pick. Sam Darnold and P.J. Walker. Uh, <laughs> right we got to get a break in here, and then we'll come back. You know, we don't want to miss the Giants' next pick. So while the Panthers are on the clock, we'll take a quick break, come back, react more to the Jets and Giants, what they've already done with their first selections, and then have their next selections coming up. Sal Akata, Kim Jones, Keith McPherson, Brandon Tierney, live at the Vandal Sportsbook. Look how pumped this kid is. The Breakaway Kid is the winner. 